All right, boys and girls, here we go with my ultimate chicken and waffles. Catch me live on twitch.tv slash Chris Blackwood. Can't wait to see you there. Basically, we are going to uh, rock this beautiful spread of ingredients. We are gonna make our own dredge. That's why you see all these spices here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be using the all-purpose flour. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a handful of this. We're gonna get started. Yeah, it's simple reasoning. I wanted to eat this. Oh, and the other reason why I wanted to make this is that there, uh, there were people who weren't here when I worked out the waffles and when I was frying chicken. And I feel like it's great content. Uh, All-purpose flour in there. We're making the dredge right now. Good pinch of salt. I did brine the chicken, by the way, guys. So this is a mixture of the chicken, buttermilk, and this extra hot panola hot sauce, which is quite dark red, as you can see. This was, so the combined weight of chicken and buttermilk was like two kilograms in the hot sauce. So we have that marinating with hot sauce, buttermilk, and 3% of that weight in salt. So it's brining and buttermilking or marinating at the same time. Uh, I am frying in canola oil today. And let's go ahead and make this dredging blend. Then we'll make the waffles. Then we'll get our frying station set up. Then we'll make cocktails. Once we have the cocktails, we'll cook the waffles. We'll cook the chicken. And we're gonna have a beautiful spread of fried chicken and waffles. I have the spread of spices, again, which we will be using. We've got the little umbrellas for the cocktails. Me and Tekken want the cocktails. <laughs> All right, Mel, I'm gonna give them to you in a minute. We're gonna add the cayenne, the granulated garlic, the onion, the paprika, the red chili flake, the oregano, and the thyme to this dredge. Most dredges will contain spices, you guys. Again, a dredge is just a seasoned flour mixture. We're going to dip our marinated chicken in this, okay? Then we're going to dip it in buttermilk. Then we're going to dip it in the dredge again. That's the crust of the fried chicken. Now, dredges are usually seasoned, but I feel that they're usually seasoned wimpily. And we aren't wimps, so we're gonna season this well. Like, not enough spice in there to actually be able to taste the spices. So there's the granulated garlic, granulated onion. And I do prefer onion uh, and garlic granulated to powdered. I just think that it's, uh, it has a little bit more of a natural aroma to it that way. Cayenne. Now, I'm not going to go as heavy on this because this is pretty spicy. Although Nick's over there. Nick, what are you reading right now? Nick's over there reading Kerouac. How about that? little kick of cayenne there. We're gonna be frying some chicken, we're gonna be making some waffles. These aren't any ordinary waffles, guys. If you missed previously, um, I did spend like three or four streams making waffles. You guys might remember that. The spoon won't fit in this one. It's okay, I'm just gonna carefully, I'm gonna use a fair amount of paprika here. There we go. We have the cayenne, so we don't need a terribly much chili flake. I do a bit, wouldn't call myself an enthusiast. Oh, word. Hey, well, it's good that you read, Zeister. Little pinch of oregano. Whoops. And a little bit on the cutting board there. I love thyme, so I'm gonna sneak a little bit of dried thyme in there. Touch of bay leaf powder, just because I have it. Hi, 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 hi. Now, this is a weird ingredient, man. Imagine if it just came like that. The other thing I am gonna add to this brine, it's not a brine, excuse me, this dredge, is a little bit of cornstarch, and because I have it, a little bit of bay leaf powder. Actually, a little less of that, there we are. And I do like using some starch in the breading, just because it establishes a, a harder crust. It's gonna be like a work of art. What's in the jar? I have honey here. We're gonna use the honey in the waffle recipe. We just made our dredge, and that's full of different spices. The paprika, the granulated onion, the granulated garlic, the oregano, the thyme, the cayenne pepper, the red chili flake, the salt. It's just one more thing that needs. That's lots of black pepper. 
I think that fried chicken wants black pepper. Nice, so I got this done. Now we're gonna make the waffles. Is that they're leavened not only with the baking powder and the baking soda, but also yeast. I am gonna fry this rosemary as well. I think that'll be really delicious. I had fried rosemary at some restaurant as a garnish and uh, it was actually pretty tasty. So we'll see how that works out. I've never done that before. Uh, I got a lemon here, which I think will also be nice to garnish with. I have a serrano pepper and some Fresno chilies. So you can picture a nice pile of fried chicken garnished with fried rosemary, slices of lemon, thinly sliced confetti of peppers, and the honey drizz. Oh, this is in our future, ladies and gentlemen. So let's make it happen. So this is the ultimate Belgian waffle recipe, okay? So we're gonna sift the dry ingredients together, which is gonna be a cup of all-purpose flour, um, seven grams of baking powder. I'm gonna get to sifting out the dry. Yo, we're gonna do a full batch in that case of these waffles. So this is gonna be enough batter for roughly six to eight waffles, 240 grams of flour, or two cups. One, okay, so there's 180. We're gonna need to add 60 more grams. Baking powder, baking soda, salt. Easy peasy. 14 grams of baking powder. Four grams of baking soda. And baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, which is alkaline or basic. It's the I mean, we ain't basic, but this is, and it is uh, an ingredient that's used as a chemical leavener. So leaveners are ingredients that give rise to foods, in our case, these waffles. Baking soda reacts with acids. If you remember back in school, the baking soda and vinegar experiment. So the acidic ingredients in these waffles are the things like the buttermilk. And you might actually be surprised at the acidity of certain ingredients, such as honey. Those two react to give rise. Baking powder is baking soda plus acid crystals, so it's a complete leavening system. I will also salt this. Cannot forget your salt whenever you're cooking. It's very easy to forget if you're like me. It's easy to forget little things, but you don't wanna forget the salt when you're cooking. Salt is gonna make, as I always say, it's gonna make food taste more like itself. Although my mother would say, you don't say the most unique, you just say unique because there aren't degrees of uniqueness, you know? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our wet mix together. And like I said, this is kind of an advanced waffle, but it's worth the extra steps. One of those extra steps is separating the eggs into the yolk and the white, and whisking the egg white to soft peaks. Okay, and what that is going to do, we fold that into the rest of the waffle dough. What that does is it just makes the waffle just unreal light. Alright, if you ever think about making these. Again, just separating eggs into whites and yolks. So I do so by kind of passing them back and forth. And it's really important that you don't get, you don't break the yolk and get any yolk into the white because you won't be able to whip that. And guys, if you're ever looking to watch pizza made on live stream, definitely check out Cheese Pizza Stream. We got a lot, oh, 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 okay, no, we're good. That yolk actually broke. This should still whip up. It's like microscopic amount of yolk. Soiled it, soiled it. But we're gonna be okay. Okay, focus. Yes, thank you, Cheese Pizza. I'm gonna focus now. Contains buttermilk, honey, club soda, or sparkling water. This rather aesthetic bottle of water there. Okay, and melted butter as well. The buttermilk. You gotta shake first, because it'll separate. 360 grams of buttermilk. I need 56 grams of honey. We're gonna whisk this wet together. We'll melt the butter. We'll whisk the egg whites to soft peaks. We're gonna combine everything, fold in the whisked egg whites, and um, 
we will have our waffle batter. The uh, sparkling water or club soda. 118 grams of the soda. And that carbonation is gonna help make this batter even lighter. Let me go ahead and melt the butter. Yeah, I need a, what was it, 84 grams of butter. Nick, you're a genius. So here's, I love the blue label on this. Vanilla bean paste. I actually prefer this to the extract. We're gonna use that for flavoring these bad boys. And we're gonna use a bit of lemon zest. Just don't use too much, just like that. It's probably a half teaspoon max. In fact, in my recipe, I call for a teaspoon of extract, but you gotta be careful with the paste. With some lemon zest. I like a fair amount of lemon zest in mine. I'm gonna whisk the wet. So I need 58 grams of milk, or a quarter cup roughly. And we're gonna dissolve the yeast in this milk. I'm gonna warm it slightly in the microwave. And Lit Veil, vale. welcome to the stream. 54 grams of goat's milk. Some top notch recipes. I'm just gonna put, gonna put that in for like 10 seconds. Now to that, I'm gonna add four grams of yeast. And the yeast is not only going to leaven the waffles, but give them that unreal flavor to the next level. There we are. So I've whisked the yeast into the milk. I can now whisk the yeasted milk into the wet. I will drizzle in the butter. This is melted butter. Okay, we got that. Nice, I'm just gonna set that aside. Probably should've put these in that bowl in the first place. We're gonna make short work of whisking these egg whites. We're gonna do this in a stand mixer. I'm just gonna whisk these to soft peaks so it becomes a foam. We fold that foam into our batter, just adding each hit of the dry. Really important not to overmix the batters. So I'm gonna whisk that in so it's just combined. And the reason why I'm adding this in a few separate hits so that we don't get big lumps. So here's what my egg whites are looking like now. Just, there's nothing but egg white in there. So that is a nice soft peak, okay? That's gonna get folded in. Look at that, floof. Now I'm just gonna fold that in. Again, I'm folding is a motion like this taking the spatula, going to the bottom of the bowl and lifting the ingredient up and folding it onto itself. It's like a very gradual bubbling occurring, little bubbles occurring on the surface. Give rise to our waffles and give them unreal flavor. I'm gonna leave this out, I'm gonna cover it and leave it out at room temp. Do two of these. Okay, waffle batter, done. Here's my dredge for the fried chicken. Uh, this is a mixture of buttermilk and this hot sauce, which is very, very red. This is a very spicy, an extra hot, it's not extremely spicy, but it's an extra hot hot sauce. I've had the chicken in the buttermilk and hot sauce marinade. This also contains a 3% salt solution by weight. Um, so this is kind of a brine slash marinade. this. So the left hand will be my wet, the right hand will be my dry. I'll get all of the pieces coated. And I think I'm going to double dip here. So we'll do coating number one. I'm just going to separate the drum from the thigh right here. So that's now separated. Pop them on this plate. Again, this flour mixture is heavily, heavily seasoned. We were not wimpy with the seasoning. Okay, so again, got the waffle batter here, which has risen. The chicken, there. But I do just really like canola oil for general frying. 
canola to um, duck fat for the fries. I like the flavor of canola oil. Okay, I'm gonna do a solid. It would be nice to deep fry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do a flip. When you add the chicken to the hot oil, it's gonna cool down the oil. So if you overshoot a little bit, so let's heat it to 350 Fahrenheit. It's 177C, uh, then we'll be good. You can see I'm using this laser thermometer, which is a handy tool. Just do these two legs first. There you go. I'm about to flip that. There we are. I'm gonna go thermometer. I'll start the thermometer. I'm gonna put this in the oven to finish cooking. It's looking really, really good. Beautiful, crusty fried chicken. waffle batter, our very own Belgian. Don't want to overfill this. Yeah, so that chicken is actually 96 in the middle right now. It's 36C. <laughs> Oof, these got dark. A thousand bits. This is more like it. They're spotted, like the leopard. Okay, so the chicken that we cut into smaller pieces is done. So this one is a little brighter. So the other chicken I uh, fried less in the oil and I'm finishing that in the oven. That's almost up to temp. We should put them on plates. Give you guys that side. Little lemons on the plate so you can squeeze it on your chicken if you like. Here and there. I got the other two pieces of chicken here, looking absolutely mighty. You know what time it is. Yeah, baby. I kind of want to like put this uh, umbrella on the plate. Is that okay? If you like okay. the lighter fried chicken, go for that. It's spicy, so watch out. The chicken's perfect. Oh. Full of flavor. Juice, you see that glisten? You see that glisten? Oh, this is Chris. I think we killed it. Chris is mm, a true chef. Thank you, man. It's very nice of you to say, Lucas. This is probably the best chicken I've ever eaten. Really? Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah. Best chicken that Lucas has ever had. I'm gonna have a little bit of lemon mm, on some. Okay. Well, I'm gonna yeah, that was chicken and waffles a la Chris Blackwood.